a second. All right, so hello everyone. Welcome to this IELTS and OET grammar class. The title of the class is um, Using Commas Correctly. So basically we're gonna talk about how to use commas in your OET writing, how to use commas in your IELTS writing. Uh, guys, can you just tell me, uh, hopefully this is gonna work now. Can you see my study documents? Yes. Yes. Yeah. yes. Thanks. Thanks. Yes. Excellent. Okay. So, um, commas. Let's talk about commas. Um, firstly, we'll, I'll just talk about what we're trying to do um, in the class. We'll start up with a warm up and I'll talk about punctuation in general. What's punctuation, George, in general? What does that mean? Oh, I don't know how to explain. I know what, the, what is it, but I don't know how to explain in a proper okay. way. Okay, can anyone else explain what is punctuation or give me some examples? When you are excited or... Yeah. For example, dot, need... comma, exclamatory Wait, signs. Uh, All the signs, right? Yeah. They're like yeah. a symbol, symbols and signs. So we'll just do a quick warm up. We'll play a game with that and I'll just teach you, teach you the names for those if you're not sure. Then I'll talk about why do we use commas and I want you guys to tell me. I think a lot of you know in theory, but it's, it's all about applying the theory to practice. Then I'll talk about sentence types because sentence types are really important for commas. Does anyone know what I'm talking about here before we start? Why are sentence types important for understanding commas? Yes. Oh yeah, tell us. Yeah, is it simple, compound and complex type? Yeah. Who's telling me that? That's Mariam. It's Mariam, yeah. Yes, exactly that, right? So if if we get clear about sentence types, we can get clear about commas. That's, that's often yeah. what, pe what people are confused about, right? So we'll, we'll do that. Then I've got a little bit of practice for you. Not too much practice today, just a little bit at the end. Let's get started, all right? So punctuation symbols, it's just a warm-up game. Um, yeah. This is, of course, the, what's this, guys? It's a map. Comma. Comma. <laughs> okay, so in this game, Mass it's very, very problem. silly. I'm going to put... A, um, a piece of punctuation on the screen. You just have to put your microphone on and shout out what it is, okay? So what com what is this? Exclamation, exclamation. Hey. exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. Good. What about this? Dot. No. Yeah, we, we don't Point. call it a dot. In the it, we call it a full full stop in the UK. Full stop. Full stop. Yeah. In in America, okay. period. Yeah, okay. but not dot really, because a dot. This is a dot, but when we're talking about punctuation, we don't say that. So full stop mm -hmm. or period. What about this one? Shout um, it out. Colon. 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 Name of a body part, weirdly, isn't it? Yeah. Colon. Yeah. Colon. Everyone say it. Colon. 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 So we've got comma. Everyone say comma. Exclamation mark. Pronunciation exclamation mark. Exclamation mark. And then we've got colon. What about this? Ready? Shout out. What is it? Semicolon. Semicolon. Good. Um, what about this? Hyphen. 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 Now, if I say like um, a word either side, right? So I might say, I don't know, if, think of a hyphenated word. Can anyone think of a hyphenated it's word? Years old. Years old. Years years old. old. Sometimes we, we do years old, don't we? Like that. Let me just see. Yeah. Okay. In that case, it's a hyphen. Yeah. It's connecting two words. But sometimes we just use it as like a kind of like a semicolon. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. It's not connecting connecting two words into one word. It's it's connecting two sentences together, right? So the semicolon and the dash are often used. Same. Okay. Just a little tip. We're not studying that today. Um, what else have we got? What about this? Inverted, inverted, comma. inverted, inverted commas. Comma. Yeah. Inverted commas or quotation marks. Quotation, quotation marks. Um, what about this? Apostrophe. Apostrophe. No, no. Yeah. Apostrophe. Yeah. Or you could say again. You could call it an, an only one inverted comma. Good. Uh -huh. Sometimes we also say scare quotes. Has anyone heard of that? Scare no. quotes. Okay. Honey, is it? 
Yeah, this is just a game, so it doesn't matter, guys, if you don't know this. Um, one more just to see. What is... Um, have I done all the punctuation? No, question it? mark. Ah, Excuse yes. <laughs> <laughs> question mark. Thank you. Can everyone say question mark? Question mark. Question mark. Question mark. Uh, there is one more. What about this? Uh, slash. 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 Uh, slash. Yeah. Okay, so the game is who can say it the fastest. Ready? Very, very Best. quickly. The slash. game is... Uh, wait. Hit five, four, three, two, one. Slash. Colon. 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 Okay. Say it as fast as you can. Fast as you can. Colon. Three, two, one. Apostrophe. Invented comma. Invented comma. Some people are very fast. fast. Very fast. Uh, last one. Dash. 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 Someone said dash or hyphen. Good. And sorry, last one. And this is what we're studying today. We're studying the comma. Okay, the comma is a piece of punctuation, right? It's punctuation. Um, it's probably the most common piece of punctuation that we use. Okay, and we're going to start the class by simply asking, why do we use commas? And I'm going to ask you. So, Alexandra, there's there's more than one way. There's more than one reason for using a comma. Can you tell me some of the reasons why, Alexandra? Um, because we need to put a, like a stop into a sentence. Ah, well, that would be... A fog. This is where we get, it gets into difficulty, yeah? But let's keep it more simple. If I say something like, um, I went to the shops and I bought a car, an apple, <laughs> a car, yeah. an apple, and a fish. So it's, it's a very strange shop. To, list, to make a pause. To list some to separate, separate items in a list. Yeah. And you're making us clear and understandable. Yeah, so I bought a car, an apple, um, and a fish. This one is called the talked about this in the past. What's that what's that comma called? Oxford comma. Yeah, some people think it's necessary. Some people think it's not necessary. Okay, mm -hmm. you, you can decide. Um, what about if I say something like, firstly, you should put the tea in the tea um, cup. Secondly, you should pour some hot water in. Sequence. Chronological. Chronological. Do I need a comma here? Firstly, you. Yes. Okay. So what's the reason for using the comma then? The signposting? That's, that's in speaking. We call that a signpost in speaking. But this yeah. is link, linker, linker, right? Link. At, the, at the start. Link. So you might say, first of all, if you're doing IELTS, right? Um, if you're doing OET, what would you say? You wouldn't say, first of all. That's too uh, academic. Initially. Initially, uh, Mrs. Initially. Jones. Initially. What else could we say? Um, on And then... The yeah, on, on the 9th of February. 9th of December. Yeah, we wouldn't say of here. We'd say 9th of February, comma. On examination. On examination. Additional comma. Good. So what we do, what we use the comma here, guys, just microphones off, is we separate the linking phrase or word from the rest of the sentence. Mm -hmm. From the subject of the sentence. I, t I was talking to you, George, about this in IELTS, remember? So here's the subject of the sentence, George, right? Oh, yes. So we Yesterday. Yes. Yeah, we, we separate out the linking phrase. We use a comma to do that. Other reasons to use commas. There's more than one reason to use a comma. These ones are the easy ones. It's giving extra information. Ah, no. give, give me an example. Like if I want to mention a drug and then uh, I put comma and put it, uh, put the root of uh, the, of uh, like orally or. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to add that one in. You know what? I've never thought about that. This is for you OET guys. I'm going to put, yeah. I'm going to put. Um, I use it a lot. I extra use it a detail. Lot. Okay. Yeah. So in, in med when you're giving medication, one way to say it is you might say he takes. Paracetol. Paracetamol. Now what? Um, uh, a comma, um, like orally. Orally. Something like that, yeah? Yeah. Or you could say okay. he takes paracetamol two times a day. Two times a day, yeah. 
for extra information. And he, something like that. So this is more for OET. Uh, I wouldn't worry about this IELTS people. Um, you can put the commas in to sort of put in an extra piece of information like this. Excuse but, you, sir? Uh, yes. Why is it a comma after the paracetamol? Because I thought it should be, he takes paracetamol two times a day, then there should be a comma. So I don't know why the comma is coming in front well, of the, the paracetamol. Yeah, well, these are, this is like, you can use it like this to include extra detail with medication. Okay. okay. But it's not, to be honest, I hadn't planned for this one. This is, this is um, actually an exception. Okay. I would prefer okay. you guys not to do it like this. It's like the, it's not the most common way to do it. Usually, if you see my classes on how to punctuate medication, there's better ways, all right? But, so this is one way. I don't want to say it's wrong, okay? But the best way, the most important way, the thing that you guys all need to learn is not that, right? It's, as Sabrina said before, I recognized your voice, Sabrina. What is it? Connected yes. sentences? No, Sabrina? Close. Close. Right, I'm going to put this one in, in red because it's the most important one. It's the one that happens mm -hmm. all the time. Okay. So let's talk about clauses. What is a clause? I know Paul talks about clauses a lot, right? Yeah. So um, let me ask one of you here. Um, let me ask maybe Metti or Alex. Yes, sir. Do you know um, what a clause is? It's hard to define, but have a go. Sir, which has uh, uh, an object, subject, and verb? Yeah, always an object. So, so if I say um, you, you like you, you swim, is that not is that not a clause? You swim mm -hmm. sometimes. That's got no object. Sure. It's not. It doesn't have to have an object. But you're on the right lines. Come on, help him out, guys. What? How can we define clause? Section of a sentence. Section of a sentence. Define that. Idea. Dependent. Sometimes people say. Dependent and independent clauses. We could say in general, it's something like. There's some good answers there. So we can say maybe it's like an idea, a new idea, mm -hmm. right? Um, it could be um, a, a section. Someone said a section or a part. Of a sentence. Or a part of a sentence. Okay. okay. These are general definitions. I'll give you a bit more of a specific one. It doesn't always work. Okay. It's difficult to find what a clause is. Um, but in general, I would go with what Metti said and say it has to have a subject and a verb. Okay. Usually. Not with, for example, participle clauses. That wouldn't yeah. have a verb. But usually, nine times out of 10, 90%, 95% of the times, usually it's subject plus verb. And we need this for the commas, Metti. Okay. Okay, sir. So I was maybe I was being a bit unfair with you. You, you said object, which I, I disagree with, but definitely I agree with. Um, think of it like this. It's very useful to think of it like this. Um, okay, so we, if we can understand why we use commas to separate clauses, we can feel we can start to feel very very confident about using commas. Okay. Listing. I don't think that's a big problem. Linkers, again, it's not that hard to master. Extra detail, it's just really for OET medicine giving and things like mm -hmm. that, where you're just putting in a little bit like numbers. It's usually used for numbers and stuff, right? Um, but this is the big one, this is the daddy, okay? So let's start mm -hmm. with under, trying to understand how this works, okay? So in order to explain how to use clauses and commas correctly, we've got to talk about what? It's on my screen. Sentence type. Sentence, Sentence types, types. Right. So imagine I say, um, I like cheese. Um, I like fish. I do like cheese. I do like fish. Um, is that a correct use of a comma, everyone? Uh, no. 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 I think we can all say that it's not. This is called um, um, a split um, comma splice. It's a it's a common error you see native speakers, children in high school. They always do this. Why is this wrong? Can anyone tell me? Maybe Han could tell me or Mukit. It's wrong because it's you comma inside of the full stop. Okay, so you could put a full stop here. Yeah, that would be okay. Good. But if I wanted to use a full a comma here, I could, but 
and junction and 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 yeah all right conjunction I think it's wrong because because it's quite robotic uh, well yeah i'm giving you a very simple example yeah, yeah. it is robot i can't but if i started with a really complicated sentence would that be would that be easy to understand no, 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 simple. No. Yeah. Obviously, simple. obviously yeah. you're never going to write I like cheese in OET, I hope. And, and um, in view of the above, I like cheese. Um, of course, you're not going to say that, but, 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 I need to keep it simple now because you know yeah. the answers. If, I'm, if I make it simple, you'll know the answer. So yeah. I like cheese and I like fish. Is that a compound, compound sentence, a simple sentence or a complex compound. sentence? Compound. 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 compound, right? Now, Mehdi, if you come back on the on the microphone. Yes, sir. Do you know what a simple sentence is? Sir, uh, they don't have any connectors, I think, like yeah. uh, and, but. I like cheese, right? That's yes. the one. How many clauses? One. Mehdi, there's one clause one here, clause. right? Yeah. And we can say that because there's a subject and a verb. So, uh, Matthew, what is the sub what is the subject here? What is the verb? I, sir, I, I, I like, I Dead and easy. like as well. Dead easy, isn't it? Right. Okay. So let's go to the compound sentence, uh, Matthew. Uh, can I ask how, one? Uh, yes, one second. But let me just do this with Matthew. Uh, how many clauses? Okay, um, there are two clauses, sir. Two clauses. It's easy. And give me the subjects and the verb. I and like, sir. Now, someone had a question. Go on. Clause in both sentences you are like something. But can we make like I like cheese and fish? Why we are using I like again? Be okay, because it's a great question. I'll come to that in a second. Because okay. it would it wouldn't be a compound <laughs> sentence, right? Thank okay, you. So that's a great question. Uh, I have an answer. Okay, one second. Microphone off, please. Yes, why Ma you use no, no, like no, excuse me, one second. I have to answer that question, okay? One second. Someone needs to put their microphone off or else you're going to disturb everyone. Oh, yeah. Who's got their microphone on? It's okay, Allah, if you could just mute yourself. Okay. Um, someone said, well, why not? Why can't I say and, and fish? Right? Okay. Well, is there two clauses there, guys, or one clause now? Oh, no one. Mm. One clause. Now we're doing one clause. Look, I like cheese and fish. That's one clause. There's two mm. objects, but there's one clause. Why is it one clause? One verb, one no, subject. Kind of yeah, one verb. Yeah. Now, if you say I like cheese and I like fish, that's bad writing. Cool. So I like I like that a lot of you are saying, oh, that's a terrible sentence. It is a terrible mm -hmm. sentence, but it's a compound sentence. Okay. Yes. Um, so we're gonna we're just using this to sort of model the differences. Because once you understand this, well, wait a second. Is there any more questions about this? Someone someone had a question. Yes, I have a question, uh, Alan. Uh, why in the compound you use the comma? Because I think that it's not necessary. You can say, I like this and I like a fish. Well, that's, a, that's another great, great question. Many native speakers don't mm -hmm. use it. Right? Yeah. Okay. But that's confusing. And that confuses people. This is why no one understands commas, right? We use commas to separate clauses, right? Um, the thing is, we're just busy native speakers, um, especially English native speakers, they don't know grammar very well at all. It's all automatic, right? In school, we don't really teach punctuation or grammar. It's just you learn it by doing. It, uh, the English education system is very practical, not very theoretical. So some people will write that. Some people might write but, right, with no comma. Um, so I like cheese, but I don't like fish, right? It's okay to do that, guys, but I would encourage you to get in a, in a good habit of separating your clauses with commas, because when it gets complicated, you can lose track and you can make a mistake, okay? So always separate clauses with commas. Okay, now, next thing, though. So, great, Alan? A, a great question. Go on, one more question, then we'll move on. Um, uh, as you said, but, um, but do I need a comma before but? Uh, this is what I'm saying. It is optional, but you, you can choose for a compound sentence. You don't need so, to, but my advice uh -huh. is you, sh you yes. should, right? Okay. So okay. best practice, you, you get that in medicine, right, all the time, best practice. 
Do it like this because you will avoid errors. That's what I'm saying. All right. Okay? But you Thank will you. definitely see native speakers write a sentence like this. Sometimes if I'm feeling lazy, I'll do that as well. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we're trying, to keep, we're trying to keep it simple and we're trying to see the logic that's happening here. There is a logic to commas. Okay. Because there's another type of sentence. Someone said before, there's three types of sentences. What's the third type? Complex. Complex. Who said that? It's Mariam. Okay, so Mariam, tell us about the complex. Yeah, <coughs> complex means uh, one, uh, co um, it's a link between two sentences. What uh, One of the sentences is dependent and the other is not de dependent. Yeah, okay, mm. so give me an example. Can you give me an example of that? I mean, like... Um, uh, Hmm. People um, always say that, don't they? They always say dependent, non-dependent. Yeah, I mean, like uh, one of the sentences is not giving you um, a meaning, meaning. Yeah. a full meaning, and the other one um, and need to be dependent on the other one who's give you a full meaning yeah. about, about... And to be you honest, um, that's what people always say. Fragmented. I've heard that explanation many times, and I find that sometimes a bit confusing. Okay. Yeah. Let me show you a much easier way to think about it. All right. Yeah. So a complex sentence will have a word at the start that's very important, like if or although. Right. And you'll say, if I buy cheese, right, I cannot I mean, buy fish. Mm -hmm. Okay. Or I might say, although I um, like the rain, I am not going outside today okay yeah now i think i want to draw your attention guys to this word here if right <laughs> you must know other types of sentences like this if although what else mm. is similar to this this type of sentence despite of the fact in yeah. spite of but, but not despite of just despite 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 the fact Perfect. i am hungry even though I will not eat. Yeah. Anything else, guys? You you know these sentences already. You don't need to think about um, dependent, non-dependent clauses. They yeah. usually have something at the start, which is quite important. Yeah. However. Mm, however. Now this is the this is the interesting one. However is not. Okay, so let me show you why this is so important. So look, in a compound sentence, I need I need to separate both the clauses. Okay, with a comma. But what do I have here? Mm -hmm. right. yeah. Yeah, link. But in a but in a complex sentence, I have my comma in red. So I'm separating mm -hmm. my clauses. Mm -hmm. But do I do I need a, a link a linker? Uh, sorry, a conjunction here? No. 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 Right. Because that's what you use if in the front of in the first clause. Here, yeah. To, yeah, to use a comma if you in the second no. Exactly, right? So in complex sentences, we separate clauses. There are two clauses, but we don't put in a conjunction, a conjunction with and or but or anything, because it's here. It's at the start. Hmm. All right. Now, some of the more clever people here are going to be saying, well, you can, you can change it round, right? You can move it the other way. Yeah. Okay, sure, you can. But I'm just showing you this way because it's easier to see the, the distinction. Okay, yeah. so a complex sentence doesn't have a conjunction to separate them. In fact, you see this error mm. all the time. I always see that. If I buy cheese, but I cannot buy fish. You see that all the time, right? Or although I like the rain, but I am not going outside. Yeah? Complex sentences, we don't have the compound word, but we do have the comma. Okay? Now, let's talk about this thing I said at the start, comma splice. I like cheese. Let me just put this here. Why is it wrong to say something like this? <laughs> Tell me why this is wrong, guys. Okay, let me zoom. I'll zoom out my screen as well so you can analyze my sentence. If you say something like, um, he, he went to the park. Park. Okay. Um, he played with his friends. Why is that one wrong now? Anyone? 
He went to the park and played with his friends. Because he doesn't have a connector like and. Linker. Well, the first thing to say is, Should is, have it, linker. is, is it, well, there's no linker, okay? Yeah, there's no linker here. Linker. And also... so, but, but sometimes you don't need, sometimes you don't need it, right? Look, I, I don't need it here. Sir, we can, sir, we can say no, like, like he went to the park and played played with his friends. No need, okay. no need to say he. Uh, there is the need to say he. We can say and here, though. What type of sentence is it, guys? Come on. It's not simple. It's not complex. Compound. It's compound. 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 Is it compound? Compound. Why? Because there is a link to and... simple sentences. And Analyze it in terms of grammar. Two set of subject and verb. Subject and verb. Yeah, and then subject here and then subject verb, right? So... That's kind of like how we're going to do this, right? Let me give you some other examples. Tell me if it's right or if it's wrong. What if I say um, something like, um, he went to the park and went home. What about that one? This is... Complex? Is it, no, it. Hmm. This is... Is it compound? No. No. I don't think of that as a compound sentence because there's not two clauses. Why are there not two clauses? There is no only one subject. subject. No. There's one subject. It's no. just one. It's this one. The subject is here, and then there's no subject here. Look. Yeah. yeah. So I would put that here, okay. And in the way that I like to punctuate is I would avoid. I don't think people people don't put commas in simple sentences, yeah. right? Unless they're listing. Unless they're listing, okay. But we so, went to the park or park party. Oops, sorry. Part? Park. Oh, sorry. No, it's my fault. Okay, what if I say this? Um, um, when I um, when I see him, we always and we always laugh. What about that one? Complex. This is com uh, compound. Compound. It's wrong. Is it, com wrong. Was it compound or complex? What is There's it? no need to um, add. No need for and. You're too good for me, you guys. Okay, so when I yeah, see them, we always laugh. Complex. It is complex. Oh, interesting. Why is it complex? Because when? it's when, when I see him. Um, we have to up yeah, because you kind of got it's this word at the start, which is kind yeah. of, that's the word that, could, that joins the two sentences together, isn't it? Mm. That's, that's the word so that makes the... conjunction. Yeah. So... What about if I said something like, um, um, Mrs. Green, more OET, right? Uh, Mrs. Green, so while she was being operated on, uh, Mrs. Green had a stroke. Sorry about this, not a very nice example. While mm. she was being operated on, Mrs. Green had a stroke. What type of sentence is that, guys? Complex. 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 Uh, this complex. Do we all agree it's complex? Yeah. Why is it? Why is it complex? Yeah. Because it's while, while. While. This is like this, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And there is subject. Good. And if I put in, if I put in a linker now, I'm making a mistake, right? No. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. If I if I get rid of the comma, is that right? No. I need Wrong. the comma to separate. Yeah. Are there two clauses or one clause? Two clauses. Two clauses. Two clauses right. But I don't need the and because it's complex. You use while. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. So this is the key. Clauses. Why do we use commas? Okay. We use co commas to separate clauses. Clauses. Oh. Yeah. Just going to make it simple to separate out clauses. But we have three sentence types. Okay. Mm -hmm. We have, and, and you need to pay attention to this. You, you need to pay attention to this. Should we do some practice, guys? Yes. yes please. Yeah. Please. Okay. So I'm going to show you five sentences. You can analyze them and tell me if you think they're good sentences or if they're not good sentences. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, the most important thing here is to tell me why. All right. If you can't tell me why it's wrong, then I don't think you might be able to tell me what you need to do, but I want you to tell me why. OK, so two minutes or one minute. Um, just read this. And 
you can draw on my screen if you want. All the OET people in my classes, if you want to draw on the screen, you know, mark something that you don't like, you're welcome to do that. To draw on the screen, you just need to look at the, it says annotate, and it's at the top or the bottom. I'll stop talking, okay? Off you go. Find the errors. I like it. Don't be shy to draw on here. It's very nice to see all the colors. You can also use the chat box. starting to become like a work of art. I like it. Can we have some green on there? <laughs> We've got blue, red, and orange. Got a nice bit of purple. We need some green. Uh, dot here. Dot. Uh, uh, remember we said, is it a dot or is it a, George? Um, here he a period or full stop hey that's full stop green period. there okay keep going guys keep thinking oh we've got someone There's someone a... seen the relative clause here as well good we should have mentioned that at the start shouldn't we relative clauses is another reason why we use commas i forgot that and we'll talk about that in a second because I put them in my examples here. Okay, so um, let's start off with uh, George, if you could put your microphone on. Yes. Now this one here, why is that wrong? Mrs. Green, comma. Where? The first one here. I didn't do that. Ah, oh, no, I know, but do, do you think it's wrong or right? Oh, okay, it's a question, sorry. Yeah. It's obviously wrong, isn't it, George? You can't oh, say Mrs. Yeah. Green, comma. Right, but this is what you accidentally did the other day, so I'm just I thought you would know. So, why is it wrong? Because it's subject, though, because he's subject a pro pro subject. Is the subject, it's right? a subject, right? You can't put the com the one place you, you definitely cannot put the, the comma is, is after the subject or in between the subject and the verb, okay? Unless you're really clever and you're writing like a, a novel or something, so you can't <laughs> put it there, okay? Mrs. Green saw her son, and the meeting went well. What's wrong here? Let me ask this question to um, Brickella, if she's following, or Desiree. You there? Brickella, Desiree, or I could ask Karen. One of you guys, come on, put your microphones on. What's that? What's the question? Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, this last one here. I think that there, there is a problem here. Uh, because he, uh, Mrs. Green, it shouldn't be she. Is extra here, you should take off. Oh, we, she, should... we could say she, yeah, yeah, good. That was my, yeah. <laughs> that's just me being silly. <laughs> um, okay, but but is a comma? It should, um, no comma. Okay, hmm, are you sure? Just think about what we think. Of. All right, let's go back a bit then. Let's go back to this one. Mrs. Green, so the subject and verb here, right? Mm -hmm. And do I need a comma around here? And the meeting went oh. well? No, no, you should have the comma, put the comma after all. Yeah. Yep. Rule of three. We can put a comma here, comma. right? Yes. Yeah. 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 And again, I'm just going to remind you guys, just, just to make sure everyone's clear in this. Subject is Mrs. Green. What's the verb? Mm -hmm. so. 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 Okay. And now look, the meeting went well. Yeah. That's a subject, right? And that's mm -hmm. a verb. Yeah. Now, yeah. as, as uh, Key and others were saying, but, you know, I see people not doing that. This is an optional comma, but I strongly mm. recommend you start using that. Yeah. Okay. Because it's the, it's okay. the logic, logical. So, mm -hmm. Now, what did we say about this? Do, don't and I need something here? And then. Yes. And then. And then. Oh, and you could, you could put in then as well. Good. She won't. She won't. Why is it that I need and, though? 
delicious it's just because like, the the sequence, sequence of, of the event. It is a sequence, but also, is it a compound or complex or simple sentence? Compound. Come compound. on, everyone should be saying it's compound, right? There's nothing here compound. saying although yeah. or if or yeah. when or while, right? So, so none compound. of the clauses are subordinate, right? Yeah. Mariam, that's what you were saying, right? What, well, as soon as you put a word here, it makes one yeah. of the clauses subordinate to another one, okay? So it's not, it's not complex. Therefore, mm -hmm. if I'm going to use a comma to separate out a clause, I have mm -hmm. to put a conjunction. Yeah. That's the rule, okay? Um, mm -hmm. What about this one, Sabrina? Although, no comma. no comma. No comma. We don't want a comma here, do we? I'll just get rid of. Um, I'm gonna. Sorry, I'm gonna get rid of your drawings. Okay, so no comma here, Sabrina. Um, why? Uh, like uh, there is no comma after all the. What about if I did this? Is it is it okay yes, now? Then, yeah, yeah. Then uh, well, we need. Why to... can't I? Why can't I do it with that? Because it's just like uh, you're giving information and then stop without like continuing the, the idea. idea. So kind of, can anyone tell me why can I do this one? But I can't do, I, I can say firstly, like comma. Like a firstly and connected. stop, pay for pause, pause and, is a and then continue. It's a, it's a link, someone's saying it's a connect, yeah. it's a linker, isn't it? It's, it's a linking yeah. phrase, uh, but all, although um, it's not a linker, it's a it's not, part yeah. of a complex. So contrast. <laughs> yeah, it's a contrasting. Can't see okay. anything in yeah. the contrast. This is a complex sentence, isn't it? Okay, so we're definitely not going to put a comma here. We're going to put it to separate out the clauses, right? So how many clauses are there, Sabrina? Two. Two. two isn't there? But, but there's, a, there's an obvious error, Sabrina. What's but, the error? Another error, like we don't need but. Yeah, why not? Because the comma already showed the, like as we, you ha we have used although, that means there is like two kind yeah. of, contrast here yeah it's almost like a double contrast isn't it yeah. Yeah, yeah um with complex sentences i know you can change them around you can but usually at the start you have the the, the kind of the word that that is contrasting or is that or is, that is joining the two clauses together okay and uh, let me ask someone who's doing ielts anuj secondly government should pay anuj are you there no this Okay, let me ask someone else then. Um, let me ask Ahmad. Ahmad. Doctor, sir. No, he's doing IELTS. This is, I've not been spreading my questions around enough today. You're all getting lax. <laughs> Zainab. Oh, hello, Zainab. sir. Um, I need yeah. something here, don't I, Zainab? What do I need? Yeah, yeah, you need a comma after the secondly. Secondly, okay. And then do I need anything else? Government should pay close attention to the security situation. Then a full stop after the situation. I suppose we should have that. Yeah, good. Um, but I don't need to put any commas in, do I? No, I don't. No. Okay. So yes. how many clauses are there? Come on, One. guys. How many clauses? It, it, it's quite One. long, isn't it? But it's actually One. a simple... One. One. Oh, it's, One. A simple, it's a simple sentence, isn't it? Can we write yeah. government with capital letter or small letter? It's just like saying, I like cheese. Sorry, yeah. I'll answer your question. Says, I like cheese. It's just the same as this sentence. It's a simple sentence. Someone said capital. Yeah, go on. Because what, of here? government, yeah. No, we only use capitals when we're talking, when we're talking about names. Okay. So yeah. generally, we write like a small letter for government. It has to be the name, okay? okay. Um, it does get tricky capitals. I'm happy to do a class of capitals. There are some exceptions and stuff, but this would be correct. Number four, in addition to the diagnostic procedures were done and, ooh, this is a tricky one. Who's doing OET and is worried about commas and wants to tell me the, put your microphone on, Just test yourself. What's the problems here? In addition to that comma? Yeah, who was that? Rekha. Great. Now, Rekha, this is it. This is a tricky one, isn't it? Because it looks like, yeah, it looks like a relative clause, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Don't we all agree, Desiree, Alexandra? Is, yes, is, yes. I thought I would trick you. It's not a relative clause. What is it? Uh, secondly, firstly, like a sequence. Yeah, it's just a linker. Like, like it's like saying firstly. Yeah, firstly. Exactly. So we need the comma just because it's linking to a previous idea previous sentence 
Okay, anyone else doing a, a, um, OET? Diagnostic procedures were done and a CDT scan revealed. What do we need? This is a real sentence from one of you. A comma of yes, we need a comma before and. Yeah, and yeah, right. Yeah, it is. It is optional, but I really think this is where it becomes much more tidy as well. Yeah. Look at look Far how long. Vital here. It's much better, isn't it? Yeah. Right. So I'm putting my comma here. Key. Why did you say that we need the comma here? Because it's two clauses. Yeah, it's two clauses. What's the first clause? What's the subject? The subject is diagnostic procedures. And the verb is? And the verb is were done. And the, and the subject's in the second and clause? A CT scan. And the verb? Revealed. Yeah. So we've got, to, we've got to put in a comma, okay? There's another problem here. Can anyone see the last problem, OETP? Yes. Where is it? Um, here <laughs> we can say, and also. Yeah. Now, I'm just going to keep it simple today. You can say and also, yeah, you can say but, you can say and then. But today we'll just keep it with like this. Can anyone tell me why? Why do I need to put and here? Maybe I'm going to ask this question to someone specific. Uh, someone who's new. <laughs> Ad Adeline. We spoke yesterday, remember? Adeline? Oh, she's gone. I would look. Would love to speak to her about this. I'm going to ask um, Eugenia. Are you there, Eugenia? Yes. Don't let me down. Okay, good. So, why do I need the comma here and the, and the and, or why can't I just say that? Because, uh, like the previous, it's um, it's another sentence with uh, another subject and. Uh, yeah, um, we've got here, haven't we? And then yeah. is there a verb? Yeah, un underwent. Good. So. I I need to use a comma and then and, and uh, right good. good sentence good. listing ah well we're doing listing in the next class yeah. and you'll see you'll see how yeah. this fits together i can do that right at the end actually because we're just about to finish yeah. uh, last Sorry, one in my Ellen? yes yeah. may i know what because of a sentence listing i think the second clause do i really need an end there Ah, well, we'll talk about this in a second because listing slightly changes the rules. Yeah, okay. But this is this is okay, all right? But if we're trying to summarize, yeah, mm -hmm. then we might want to list this and then we can we can make it smaller and put change the comma pattern. Yeah, all right. you're right. And so number five. The comma before which? Oh, ah, yes, sorry. Who is that? Is that is that Rika? Rika, yeah. Okay, so I was talking about this and I put this in on purpose. Do we need this one, guys? No. No? Yeah. There's a question mark. Yeah. Ah, we can, we need I, to be honest, I find, this, I find this really hard myself. And I know Paul does as well. Um, relative, defining and non-defining relative clauses. I'll put this in the list. It's really tricky, isn't it? And it needs a separate class. Paul has taught this before. Who's done Paul's classes before where we've talked about relative clauses? No, no one. <laughs> That's not true. I know yes, many of you. I'm lost, he's, but he's I don't always doing it. Yeah. Doing it. Yeah. He's got, he, yeah, he's got some great classes on it. Okay. I'm just going to say for is it defining or non defining that we use a comma? Non defining. So for non defining relative clauses, comma. we need a comma. Uh -huh. Okay. Can't teach that in five minutes. It's, compl it's a bit complicated. But the basic idea is it's non-defining means non-essential information, right? Non-essential. Mm -hmm. But I can't do that in today's class. In this case, I think, Rekha, you are really, really good at your grammar today. I want to say well done for spotting that. I think it is non-defining. Yes. Okay. Yes. Last yes. one. In my view, come on, everyone together. What do we need? Comma. Comma. Because it's a... Uh, it's Link a signposting. Linker. 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 Families are important because they provide the foundation for society. Is that a simple or complex or compound sentence? Simple. Simple. Because? Because it's because just it's one complex. verb and one, one subject yeah. and one verb. Yeah, so sometimes you can have really long sentences that look, that look complex, but they're not. They're actually simple sentences yeah. in, a, in a grammatical mm. sense. Okay, so I'm but, going to finish off. Yes, questions, please go on. 
But the Alan you use because. Ah, this is, sorry, I'm forgetting my own little traps I've laid for you. Now, in my view, yes. family is important because they provide the foundation for society. So key, if you could come back on the microphone. Yes, yes. This is a, pri I put this one in because this is a prime example of what you said before, right? Mm. It's not, this is not a simple sentence either. <laughs> I'm thinking about the next class I have to do now. You guys are not paying attention. Come on, is this a simple sentence or a complex sentence or a compound one? I think it's uh, complex. Com complex. complex. A complex. Is it complex? Compound. No, no, compound. Remember, guys, complex. It would be complex if I said something like although, although, if families are important, if yeah, and then that, right? Mm, this is yes. a compound <laughs> sentence. And what is this word here? Conjunction. Con Conjunction. So, uh, so result. I mean, I'm very sorry. I, I just completely messed that up entirely. So there's, there's two there's two <laughs> clauses. And what's my rule here? Um, what do we need? Comma. Right? Comma. But I wanted to finish on this one because I would say it's very, very common for native speakers so me, uh, you said it is like a compound sentence. So because here it's like as you know, because if you're in yeah. compound sentence, you use a fanboy. Use a, a what? Sorry. Fanboy for and so but need uh, fanboy the conjunction. You know. Yeah, you conjunction. Mean? Acronym. Acronym. What do you, what do you what? mean fan, fanboy? What do you mean? Sorry. F I N it is for. F I N. N no but. F uh, yet, so. mm, I'm not sure what you mean there, Han. Um, does anyone know what she's talking Conjunction. Okay. Well, this is, because is a conjunction. That is a conjunction. Right? But normally people, they use S. No? So this what, one here? here, because it's like S. Mm -hmm. Oh, as. As. Ah, right. I see what you're saying. Right. Um, you can use as. Apparently, it's a bit informal in OET, although people use it all the time. Um, but my point, Han, is not that. My point is simply this. It's very com common for native speakers to not use a comma before because. because. Okay? They should, though. It, they're breaking the rules. All right? And then do we need comma before uh, because, do you think? It's just like when Key asked me about and, right? It's just like if we go back to this. OK, I can do this if I want with a compound sentence. It's not always necessary to use the comma. All right. It comes down to style. OK, but for me, I, 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 especially as a teacher, I want to teach you the most logical way to write a sentence and the most clear way. So my advice is use this comma. But you don't have to. Does that make sense, guys? Yeah, it's an optional one, but it's a good one. OK, it makes me very happy. I feel very strongly about <laughs> Punct punctuation can get very serious. You can have some serious arguments about this. Me, me and Paul, we, we nearly had a fight once over commas. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> but it's very serious. Some people get very annoyed about this kind of thing. I just wanted to make that point to you guys. Okay, so because it's, you probably won't see a comma before because, but please do use it because it's two clauses. Why do we use commas? To separate clauses. Okay, so I'm going to stop the class there. Thank you very much, everyone, for attending. OET people, I'll see you in the OET class in about three minutes. We're going to be doing listing, so we can talk more about commas there as well. Okay, I didn't want to bring that in at mm. the end, though, because it might confuse some of the IELTS people. Thanks yeah. very much, guys. Take care. Thank you, Alan. Bye-bye. Thank you, Alan. Bye. See you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.